jumbo jet makes an emergency landing at LAX, but not before dumping jet fuel over a five-mile stretch of LA and Orange County. A jet fuel landing on a school playground while students were playing. Tonight, an aviation expert is questioning why the pilot did it. More than 10,000 gallons of jet fuel rained down after the pilot announced an emergency at 11:45 this morning. That's right. Paramedics treated 67 people for skin irritation and breathing problems. A Delta Flight 89 took off from LAX this morning. It was headed to Shanghai when it had an engine issue. The pilot declared an emergency and then turned back. The jet dumped fuel over several cities, including seven schools. Park Avenue Elementary School in Cudahy got the worst of it. A student outside during that fuel dump said. It irritated their arms, legs, and eyes. LA County says fire crews decontaminated 31 students and adults. We have live team coverage tonight, starting with KCAL 9's Tom Waite at LAX. He talked to an aviation expert who is now questioning when and where the pilot dumped the fuel. Tom. That's right, Jeff and Susie. The expert understands that the pilot and the plane were under duress, and he understands why he took extreme measures, but he says he thinks the pilot may have acted too quickly. Tonight, questions about why fuel rained down from the sky as a pilot readied for an emergency landing. 89 heavy, we have uh, engine compressor stalls on the right engine. We're requesting runway 25 right. Delta Flight 89 had just taken off. The 777 was bound for Shanghai and was loaded with fuel. In moments, the pilot declared an emergency, circled to land, and on final approach, dumped its fuel. Tonight, aviation experts are questioning why the pilot chose to unload the tanks where they did. Number one, I understand this was a simple compressor stall and one of the engines. Captain Ross Amer, a retired United Airlines pilot and CEO of Aero Consulting Experts, says the pilot may have acted too quickly in dumping the plane's fuel. I don't blame the, the pilot for coming back. However, even if you shut that engine down, uh, it's not a huge emergency. Uh, he could have, he or she could have gone over the water, which we normally do, place like LAX, You've got Pacific Ocean right there. You go over the water at a kind of a higher altitude. We're supposed to be at at least uh, eight to 10,000 feet. The airline confirms the plane experienced an engine issue and had an emergency fuel release to reduce landing weight. Amer says modern aircraft are designed to land overweight. Another reason why he questions what happened. Unless if you ha you're on fire, there's no such rush. The FAA released this statement. There are special fuel dumping procedures for aircraft operating into and out of any major U.S. airport. These procedures call for fuel to be dumped over designated unpopulated areas, typically at higher altitudes, so the fuel atomizes and disperses before it reaches the ground. Most pilots make a mistake of hurrying through an emergency. Uh, whatever it was, they could have easily gone over the water. No injuries were reported on the aircraft. As for the passengers, they are rebooked on a flight tomorrow morning. Reporting live at LAX, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News. All right, Tom, thank you.